of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on the other half of my Canadian Quilters Association Challenge, Mini Quilt Challenge, and this is going down to Wyoming. So I chose a really nice horse, mountain, and uh, sun and birds a stitch out that Walt has in his lovely collection. And now I'm just gonna micro meander all the way around so I can highlight certain spots. There's about four layers of batting in here just cause I want the mountain to pop, the horse horses to pop and the trees to pop and stuff. Well, the horse, there's only one there, so. But uh, now we're just gonna put it on, okay? Micro stippling. Or small. So the chalk lines kind of represent roughly the size of the mini quilt. Okay, mini quilt challenge. So I'm going to not try and go beyond the chalk, okay, whether it be at the top or the sides or whatever, the bottom. Okay. And the top half, or the other half, is the bumble, paper piece bumblebee that I did a couple of, um, or last weekend project I believe it was, um, uh, taking a normal paper piece pattern and blowing it up to the point where you can make it a bigger bumblebee. So instead of a four inch bumblebee, I had a 14 inch bumblebee. And a lovely blue robin's egg thread, apparently blue and green are some of her favorite colors. So I thought this lovely blue, the robin eggs blue turned out so pretty up against this black fabric. I thought it would be um, quite pretty to look at. So I'd love to give her, as we always say, two, two quilts in one. We've got the back just as pretty as the front. I feel like we're getting that extra bonus. Whether it comes to a project like this or even just a quilt. I say just a quilt, but you know what I mean. So there is some footage of the Walt stitching out this lovely uh, horse and tree. Um, obviously stitch out uh, so you can see that a bit after so now you're getting, you're getting to see the after before the before and it's off the belt and I'm just wiggling back and forth trying not to cross over if I get close oh well it's not you know it's no big deal there's no micro stippling police that I know of but there might be <laughs> Try and get close. And soon, the things that you don't stitch down really start to stand out and look really kind of cool and puffy. So that's why I chose to use a couple extra layers of batting as well. And then I just have white fabric at the back, but you're never going to see that because that's going to be on the inside. I do have some more details to add to the bumblebee um, front part, or the other half, and then I can get it mailed off. The mail in date is May 15th, so I really, really needed to get on it. Goodness, I recorded this early. <laughs> it's already gone. That's going to be a little hard to work in the rays. Just be constant or consistent I'm trying to get your wiggly wogglies. Just going in and around. Don't forget to move and breathe. 
And sometimes people can only do this for a little while and then have to come back to it. So don't don't be afraid that you know you're not getting it all done in one shot. This makes a lovely even sort of pillow. You could use this to a front to a pillow as a gift, or even just as an own decoration for your living room, bedroom, guest room, whatever. Cushions the kids sit on. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right up there and put my needle down. Okay, there we go. Because it's a little bit too far for me to reach, and I want to be able to try and um, weave it off here and then be able to come back down here. So that is my uh, Long Arm Wednesday project, and I'm gonna finish it up, and hopefully you guys can see the finished picture in the caption as well, maybe even just the picture at the very end so you can see what it looks like. So thank you all so very much for watching, liking, and subscribing. We greatly appreciate it, and we'll see you on the weekend project as well as the live stream on the weekend at 1 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. So take care. Big hugs from us, and enjoy the day. <laughs> Bye, everybody.
Thank you.